This is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in sodash for at least 20 minutes and then spun out in the washing machine until it's just damp. Has been turned inside out and I have marked the center line. So let's go ahead and flip this and make or fold this in half, make this ready for a design that's symmetrical horizontally. Now you can come back in if you want to and do an eye over here or whatever for your little ghost. I'm not going to because I'm actually just doing it as a uh, more of a silhouette than anything. Because I'm, You could leave it white and just do the eye and just do the black around the edge and then do the color fill. But I'm actually going to fill this. So if I put any black here, um, it's just going to be laid in afterwards. So let's go ahead and accordion all this and tie it up. I'm actually going to come back and go this direction and then we'll catch up with this. Might have to touch some of that up. This would be much easier to do um, with needle and thread. Tie this up. Alright, and for the rest of this, I'm going to just kind of scrunch this up. And it's going to be difficult to scrunch within this, but let's see what we can do. Let's see, that's still relatively intact, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can't do this too. And then I'm just going to scrunch that up some. Alrighty, off to die. Alright, for this I'm using Raven Black 
and that is mixed as a liquid that's thickened. Deep purple, bluebird, and amethyst, and then I think timber wolf is what I'm going to use for the actual ghost. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and add the black to the eye and around the ghost outline. So I'm going to pick one side of this and stick with it. Then we'll let that sit and then come back and do the ice dye for the rest. Alright, I switched over to a needle tip. I'm not sure why I didn't do that to begin with. Probably because it's been a really long time since I've tie-dyed and I forgot they existed. Alright, so that's the eye and I'll go ahead and apply it like right down this line. Alright, so it went outside of the eye quite a bit. We'll just hope that that makes him look evil or something. Alright, let that sit for a few minutes, then we'll come in and do the ice dye. Alright, we'll let that melt through. Might come back and do a second layer of ice, just depends how well it goes through. I did a second round of ice with this one, just didn't feel it was really necessary to record that. So let's go ahead and wash this out now. this in the washing machine and we can take a final look. All right here we have the front and the back. Is it the most perfect ghost? No it's not. Is it a good ghost for the time I spent on it? Absolutely. Do I like all the intrusions of the blue inside the ghost? Actually, yes, I do. It kind of makes it like a translucent kind of ghost. I like it. It looks cool. Now, does it look more like a four tentacled squid? Yes. I don't care. I think it's cute. Now, the extra black that came out ended up doing this section right here on the side. So it has like sideways eyebrows kind of makes it look angry if you hold it here. Then if you come down here, it either has like a mustache going on or just a frowny face. Whatever. It's a ghost. I think it looks good. If you want a more detailed ghost, you should probably go in and stitch the material so that you can um, get it bunched properly or tied up properly um, versus doing it just uh, from a symmetrical fold and 
accordion folding up. Um, it would definitely work a lot better that way. But I think it's cute. Um, honestly, if the legs, we're calling these legs, were a little longer, it would almost be Pablo from the Backyardigans with a little suit on or something. Anyway, let me know what you think. Happy Halloween, and until next time, thanks for watching.